illusions. I started to dig for that dream and I was like, oh shit, oh shit, it's right here. There is, there is something here that I always wanted to do. I wanted to not come back from the run. I would rather die. It was boom. It hit me. The, the, I found, I found the purpose. I give you my heart. What's up, guys? This is your trainer and the coach, Pasha here. This is my transformation story, part two. And this is a hard subject because I get to relieve all the struggles. So I want to start by saying that I do have an obsessive personality. People call it addictive personality and that's just, that's just how I am, all or nothing. Otherwise life is freaking boring, okay? That's the only way I'm going to live my life. That's the only way I feel alive. That's the way I am. That's the way I'm going to be. And I find I found the way to function like that. Okay, and how do you know you have an obsessive personality? If you take something and you go to a hundred percent to you know you, you go zero to a hundred with it and you're just upset, you just want to be the best, right? It's, it's a good, and at the same time, it can hurt you, right? So if you take fitness and you go 100 uh, balls to the wall, pedal to the metal, you're going to get results, you're going to get a great physique, that's good. If you take drugs or alcohol and you go to 100 with it, let me tell you, you're in trouble, okay? That's pretty much, and that's pretty much how it almost ended up for me, okay? In the past few years, so it's pretty recent. I'm not going to tell you exactly, but it was a few years back. I uh, got into sales. I was top sales in a big, one of the biggest companies in Canada, fitness companies. Um, started partying. Okay, I'm not gonna go into too many details. People involved, it doesn't matter. I was involved, that's what matters. I take full responsibility for absolutely everything that has happened to me. I've learned my lessons and that's why and that's why I'm, I'm coaching people now, because out of those lessons, some people might benefit. You don't have to go through everything that I have went through. All you got to do is just listen and make the decision that is right for you. So with all the partying, I took it to 100% every single time and before I knew it I, I was in what's called a rabbit hole back spent all my savings messed up my relationship completely relationships with my family with my friends I was com I was completely nuts I was doing drugs I was drinking alcohol every weekend, then it became, during the week, lost my job, got into the drug industry, got into the uh, adult entertainment industry, yes, um, I think I overdosed a bunch of times, fighting for my life with panic attacks and losing half of my feelings and, and half of my body watching my hand turn gray from lack of um, oxygen and blood flow to it. My heart literally almost stopped three times. Getting in trouble with, with gangs. Oh my goodness, I was completely off the hinges. 
and the the and just the fact that I'm still alive makes me think that I have a purpose in life. And part of the purpose is to help people who have similar issues, obsessive personalities, to channel it, channel it into the right direction. Whatever makes you feel successful, whatever makes you feel good, whatever brings your health, whatever brings you wealth, get obsessed with that. Stop getting obsessed with all the bullshit, drugs and alcohol and seeking pleasure. Anyways, continue on with the story. Um, so I was getting involved with all that. And here is something about the rock bottom. There is none. There is no rock bottom. You can go lower and lower and lower and keep going lower until you're dead. So if you hit the real rock bottom, you will not live to tell about it. So after a few overdoses, a few situations where I could have lost my life with, uh, you know, being stabbed or shot and having nothing to eat for days, you know, backed up on my payments, losing all my savings, losing my relationship multiple times, continuously getting in trouble finally made me realize that maybe I should start changing something because I was just sick of I was just sick of getting lower and lower and there was no end. So at some point I had enough when I felt like shit and I I, I just did not want that life anymore. Here, here, that's where the real struggle has begun. When you go so low and you're trying to crawl out of it, oh, let me tell you something about life. Life will literally stomp on you continuously, trying to keep you in, at where you're at and lower. The life, the life will beat the shit out of you continuously. Continuously, it will not stop. You have to get stronger. That's how you get up. That's how you get out of it. People ask me, why am I getting so intense? Why I'm so mean? Because when you are being weak and you are asking for me to give you some sort of motivation, what are you really asking? Can't you get motivated? Can't you? Don't you want the, the goals? Because that's not how you can't get results by being weak. You have to get stronger. I have absolutely no pity for people who are laying there and whining and they're just upset with their life. I, I just get, I get, I get angry, okay, because I want those people to realize it's up to them to get stronger, it's up to that individual to get up, so the life was testing me like hell, and I was trying to drop the drugs and alcohol, just to come back to it. I was dropping it. And then I learned that in failure, we succeed. You fail so many freaking times that you're sick and tired of failing. And you get up and then you, you just you just crawl forward, you just, you just keep going, you just develop that crazy 
insane character who just who just so dumb who just keeps going don't understand who does not understand what failure is the life will tell you you fail you stay down but you keep on going and the life will slap you the life will beat you but you keep going and that's how you get out and that's how you become strong anyways after all this has happened i turned to bodybuilding because because if you're obsessed if you have an obsessed personality obsessive personality you have to get something that's hard you can't just get something that's okay you got to get into something that is so hard bodybuilding is hard it's 24 hours work doesn't stop it's 24 hours you're watching what you're eating you're watching what you're drinking you can't party you can't go to bed late you always have to watch what you're doing otherwise you're not going to be successful so that was my salvation and the way i came to it is really the story here so i was already pretty solid on my feet still having troubles uh first of all with a very toxic relationship that i was in i just couldn't let it go i could not let it go i don't know why again i could not let it go it has nothing to do with another individual okay i could not let the drugs go i could not let the alcohol go but i was climbing my way back up and i knew that those three things is what would set me free by just i just i was just missing something it was my last battle and that's when I found a bodybuilding coach who said, Pasha, hey, how about you do a competition? I was like, no, no way, no. I said, t- I, t- I don't have the genetics. Meanwhile, I've been training almost all my life. It's just the belief. I, had not, I did not have a belief in myself. And that's why, that's what I was missing, that final little step. You can fight. You can fight with viciousness, with anger, with all your might. But until you believe in yourself, until you believe you can do something, you will not do it. I repeat that again. Until you believe that you can, you will not. That has been proven for me a hundred percent. So anyways, after the talk with the coach, he said, bodybuilding i was shocked i was like shit this guy is messing with me so i was still in disbelief that i could do bodybuilding and then i lost control again got drunk got you know started partying and then that's that's that feeling you know when you're failing you're like shit maybe i canceled the show because now i look like crap coach looked at me he's like the hell Three weeks ago, you looked better than everybody. Now you look worse than everybody, and the show is about to is is about to begin in a few weeks. It starts. So and, and at that point, at that point, I felt I started feeling so just so much guilt, so much. I, I felt like a failure. I felt like felt like. I felt like I was in hell. Like that's how how I would describe it. Like all this crap that's been happening to me for the past few years before that, it just 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 stacked up on me, trying to crush everything I worked for. And that was the moment that would break you or make you. And I had a conversation with the coach and I'm like yeah you know I messed up because you know I did this and this and he's like hey a lot of people have problems like that a lot of people he knew had problem like that and bodybuilding 
is what they switched to and that's what helped them get out and then something hit me and i was like man so really because i asked him i asked him do you really think that i can grow that much muscle do you really think i can develop and he's like of course of course you can grow muscle it's just a matter of time and this is how you do it and he showed me the the way to do it and i was like oh my god i can actually do it i started believing in myself i started to believe that i can do this this thing and then boom i had a flashback i'm eight years old and i have a poster of dorian yates in my room right here and i used to look at that poster for hours i knew every single muscle definition a striation a vein on that man and since i had no father that was the father figure to me that's what a man should look like that's what i thought that's what i still think and at that moment that's when you know when you're a kid you're like seven years old like eight seven years old and you just you can think of impossible things being possible i was a kid and this guy and this guy was a monster the bodybuilder and i thought man i can i can be like this but then with time as i got bullied as you know i thought the genetics i didn't have and that dream got got crushed by all this doubts and fears illusions and at that point i started to dig for that dream and i was like oh shit oh shit it's right here there is there is something here that i always wanted to do and then i was i started to i started believing that it can be possible Next morning, I went for a 5 a.m. run. That's why I tell everybody to wake up at 5. That's when the magic happens. That's when the magic happened to me. I went, I woke up, I, I, I felt like shit. I felt horrible. I felt terrible. Mentally, physically, depleted everywhere. And with that feeling, I was like, how am I going to get out of this one? This is like, I, am I going to cancel the show? so many doubts so many fears everything just accumulated accumulated i went for the run and i was like man i'm just gonna go for 15 minutes and halfway through i oh i felt so i wanted to not come back from the run that's the time when i was like if i keep feeling like this i would rather die and i was like what can i do I'll sprint as hard as I can and if my heart will stop and if my if my ligaments tear if if my I was ready for my body to explode I just could not handle that feeling of like like the worst feelings you can imagine everything was in one and I sprinted and I was like I was really giving it like like I wanted to hurt myself and then it happened and then it was boom it hit me the, the i found i found the purpose i found the path it was all so clear to me all of a sudden what I must be done what i must do it just became a clear path that i've that i've meant to be doing this whole time It became so clear and after that and after that run the feeling it's like you know how they say the light comes after the darkest point and that's exactly what I have been through during that run I was at the absolute darkest point and i pushed 
through it and all I had to do is push this much more and I got it. And after that, let go my toxic relationship, no problem. Said no to drugs, no problem. Don't need them, don't want to lose muscle mass. I quit smoking, drinking, I stopped all the bad habits like this, not a problem. Because I've made the decision, I found the path. And that's why I'm sharing this story. Pa part of my purpose is to help people. And I want to help you. I want to help each one of you empower you. And tell you that is absolutely whatever... If you're lost, just find something that you really want to accomplish, no matter, no matter how impossible it seems. Find something you want to do and just go for it. Go for it. Start somewhere. And that's my message to you. Hopefully it inspired you in any way. If you want to talk, if you find yourself in a similar situation, you can always reach out to me. Share the story. Share this story with somebody you think might benefit hearing it. I'm with you guys. I keep, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And I'll keep helping people, as many people as I can. Peace.